Now we're going to talk about colors. There's a lot that can be done with colors here. We touched the color icon here. And notice right now we're in red, which you can call double bullnose or whatever you want to call it. You can click on this and hold it and type in a new name. And notice in the laser mode, we're drawing in line mode and it's in red. That's because that's the color we have selected. Okay. And if you look across here, right now it says line type, continuous, which means a solid line. Here's one that's a dashed line. In other words, you can actually draw a dashed line, which doubles the amount of colors you have. And CAD sees it as an actual line, too. Um, visible means that after you draw something, if you don't want it to show up on the drawing, let's say for the CNC, you don't want to cut a dimension line or some note that you might put on there, then you could uncheck the visible part and then save it like that. Now, the amount in dollars is for the estimate. So for example, if you want to charge uh, $20 a linear foot for double bullnose, you'd put $20 in there. Now, don't forget, you can have different prices. You can have three double bullnoses. Let's say you had yellow, red, and, and purple for double bullnose, and one was 10, one was 15, one was $20 a linear foot. That way you could just pick another color and then charge more money or less money, depending on the person that you're selling. Seam, if you check that, like uh, right now a purple is checked as a seam line, you won't see any difference when you draw that, but when you start to pull pieces apart, the lines will be connected because it actually draws two lines at once. So when later on when you see how slab layout works, if you want to pull those pieces apart, you don't want to have to close up that end. It'll have both pieces connected because there's two lines drawn. Now, up here, default color. Right now this is defaulting as blue. When you open it up, that's always going to be a blue color. Um, default dimension color. When you put your dimensions in, they can be a specific color that you choose by tapping on this and you pick the color here. Default backsplash color. This is kind of handy because a lot of times you're drawing your double bull nose and, and then you draw a backsplash, you forget to change the color, then you have to go back and change all those colors back to, uh, let's say, a, just a saw cut. And then you can add, let's say, a single polished or eased edge to the top. Also, we can default text color to anything. That way, text is always in a different color. And it, these are protocols that you might decide that you need in your shop. New color. Well, not only do you have these colors here, but you have another whole bank of colors here. To do that, let's suppose we wanted to pick this color there. Okay, so there it is down at the bottom. And you could name that, and you could say if it's continuous, or if it's a visible line, or how much it costs per foot, and whether it's a seam line. Next is remove color. Now we're going to hit remove color, and it took that one away because I was already clicked on it. So if I wanted to remove this color, I would click on it and then just say remove color. Revise all. If I wanted to change everything on the drawing to a particular color, you pick that color, hit revise all, and everything on the drawing would be changed to that color. Select means you want to change colors. Right now I'm in red. I want to select blue. So I hit blue, and then I say select. Notice this change to blue. Anything I draw now will be in blue. Revise is if I only want to change one line, or two lines, or just a few of them. So let's say I want to revise um, uh, to green. I want to revise that line, or this one. That's the way to revise just one line instead of all of them. Cancel means you're, when you make a selection, if it's a wrong one, you hit cancel and then you go back. If you're working with another company that uses our software, and let's say your, uh, your uh, cabinet baseline is blue, and his might be another color, if you send him your file, it's going to open up with your color selections in front of him, so he knows what particular profiles that you have selected. It makes life a lot easier so you don't recut something, uh, cut something with the wrong profile. But suffice to say, whoever opens up um, a color bank or a drawing that you've drawn on this software, they're going to see a different color bank here that explains what you used and why. 